Lord Nation, it's Daniel John, and I hope you guys are good. And I hope you're okay, of course. And we've got a gentleman asking a question today. He wants to know what should change in your program, your workout schedule, when you're going from dieting to bulking, or vice versa, you're going bulking to dieting. You know, what should change? Should repetitions change? Should sets change? Should workout schedule change? Should workouts change? Uh, and he wants to know, you know, what should should anything change, basically. Now, I'm going to say no, and the reason I'm going to say that is because you've built that muscle with one program. Okay, so you've been doing five by five. Maybe you've been doing um, Wendler five three one. Maybe you've been doing uh, just something standard like three sets on every exercise, ten repetitions. So why, when you transition over to a cutting phase, would you change that workout? Because you've had the results here. So why would you? You wouldn't need to change. Uh, in order to get a different result, because you've already got the results, you've built the muscle. If you're bulking, you're in a caloric surplus, you're feeding your body to grow, so you're gonna grow anyway. You're gonna, as long as you're working out continuously, you will get results. As long as you're in the gym five, six days a week, three, four, five, whatever you can do, in the gym, working out hard, giving it all you've got, you're gonna get those results. No matter what program you're on, as long as you're giving it all you have got, targeting that muscle. Now, transition over to dieting, you want to reveal that muscle. A lot of people are, uh, see the misconception as toning. There's, there's no such thing as toning. The, you know, dieting will get you lean, shredded, vascularity. It's no secret program that's going to get you none of this high rep bullshit. You know, none of these people, I, I hate to call it bullshit because people obviously believe in this, but just because you've built, you've been doing five by five for so long, you've built all this muscle, going over and doing 25 repetitions on every exercise is not gonna get you super cut, super quick. It's not gonna tone you up and lean you out any quicker than that program would have. The only thing that is gonna change uh, when you go from bulking to cutting or cutting to bulking is your diet. Whether you're going from a caloric surplus to a caloric deficit or vice versa, you know, there's no, real reason you should train you know, change your workout schedule if you've got the results on that workout schedule then there's no reason to change over here now obviously this is going to vary dependent on the person you might work with five, five, five by five but one of your friends might work better with five three one not everything is um you know set in stone to every individual you know, what works for him may not work for you, and what works for me might not work for you, what works for you might not work for me. It is all about experimenting. Once you find out what's getting your results, stick to that. You don't need to change it then. You know, if you're getting bored of it, change it up. But you'll probably find your way coming back to that original program because you got the best results out of that. You've got to find what your body and your mind enjoys and, you know, gets the results, and then keep at that. And the only thing that should change when you're going from bulking to dieting is your maybe some increase of cardio if you're going from to dieting and also the caloric deficit in your diet if you're going from bulking to cutting or vice versa if you're going to if you're really lean and you want to bulk up ram some food in there up your caloric surplus and that is the only thing that should change i hope this video was nice and short and informative take care stay safe and i'll see you guys next time peace I'm 58 before.